Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my balcony with its beautiful dual barrel Frankenscope. Today is not going to be a video about the Frankenscope itself, although we will be using it to test the product that I bought and ordered from a Japanese store called Starworks. And the product is the Binary Hologram Appetizer. Or binary hologram appetizer. Uh, I have no idea exactly what that means, and I do assume that appetizer means to transform into an APO. It's like a Calvin and Hobbes level uh, type of transmogrifier type of word. Uh, so, yes, what is this appetizer and how does it work? Let's go into the details. This. This is the appetizer, and this actually, uh, it's uh, also, it can serve as a, as a, as a call signal for Batman <laughs> as well. It's a, it's a dual purpose uh, thingy, and uh, there's not only one, but there's four of them. I have four, I have four, help me, what are those? Uh, yeah, so uh, what is that? Come on, I'm, I'm getting carried away, I'm sorry about that. What is that? Like details, come on, Quiff, details. Yes, so uh, each of these newts here has like this uh, little uh, cross shape spider that is uh, holding the secondary mirror that reflects light from the primary mirror at the bottom of the scope back into the camera here. Cool, for now. So the problem with those uh, spikes on the spider that holds the, the secondary mirror in place is that well, light it kind of has to go around them and that creates diffraction artifacts, meaning that stars, instead of being just like pure round uh, dots, ideally, they become crosses. They have like this, uh, this cross thing going on. And a lot of people love that because it reminds them of like Hubble pictures or whatever and professional observatories where there's very often those diffraction spikes. Yeah, going back to this, how are you supposed to use that? This is the old spider that came with this uh, telescope here. And basically what you'd want to do is there is a little, uh, little uh, slot there at the, at the bottom of this appetizer where I can slide it in and then I could like fix it in place. Unfortunately, or fortunately actually because this spider is garbage, I replaced this spider with something a bit thicker. So I cannot use the little slot there, but we'll have to basically fix it into place. But you can see what's going to happen is each of the spider veins at its center will have this little uh, Batman sign here. So we can call the Batmobile anytime we like and just like get away from Tokyo congestion because I think the Batmobile can fly, can it? Let me know down in the comments. While you're down in the comments, you may also want to comment about my Frankenscope or whether you have used these kinds of appetizers or whether you think they're actually gonna help and work in making those star spikes disappear because I have no idea, I haven't tested it yet. So let me know down in the comments while you're going there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, in which if, if you're new, in which case, welcome to the channel. By the way, I've created a, a primary mirror mask for my Carbon Star uh, 150. If you don't want to miss that, you really want to subscribe and, and click on that bell icon. All of that really helps the channel out. So you, this activity is really welcome. And if you want to support me even more and you're planning on buying anything from Gina or First Light Optics as well, High Point Scientific, Astroshop.eu and others as well, like check the links down in the description. If you buy your stuff after clicking those links, it helps the channel out at no cost to you. It's awesome, it's magic. And if you want to help even more directly, you can join my Patreon as a paid member or join the channel as a member using the join button next to the subscribe button. Okay, enough about that. Let's get on with it already. So fortunately, this, uh, these four uh, Batmobiles, <laughs> bat signs, whatever you call them, appetizers, they each came with their own like dual-sided, kind of like thick uh, sticky tape, uh, which is great because I'll be able to use that to uh, hopefully stick it onto those uh, spiders. Maybe I'll use this spider, I'm not sure. I'll see what I uh, and end up using. Oh, and price, by the way, uh, a bit expensive. I think it was around 30 US dollars or so uh, with the current really like weak Japanese yen because I bought them in Japan. But I feel like it should be 3D printable. So I'll probably take a picture of that thing together with a ruler. So if you want to make your own, well, you'll have the dimensions. Anyway, let me stick it on and get back to you. Okay, so I set up our uh, little uh, bat thingies there. Uh, the instructions were actually more precise than what I thought it was just not the middle of the spider, but you're supposed to sight down the tube and look at the uh, secondary mirror, the whole secondary mirror holder when it's perfectly round and the edge of the primary mirror and you're supposed to put the, uh, the bat thingy uh, in exactly in the middle of the edge of the secondary mirror holder 
to the uh, edge of the primary mirror and then you're supposed to check visually in there. Now uh, for me it's very difficult to do that because the, the edge of the secondary mirror to the edge of the primary mirror seemed actually shorter than the uh, the Batmobile thingies so I had to uh, I decided for now to put them like basically where the, the, they start at the edge of the secondary mirror and coincid co coincidentally it actually puts them right in the middle of the spider so meh, maybe that's gonna work we'll see and so here we have the four bat thingies installed on the spider and as you can see it looks pretty much like in the middle of each of the spider veins even though I just followed the instructions that are provided that do not say middle of the spider veins but between the edge of the, like, the secondary mirror shadow effectively and the primary mirror edge when you are sliding down the tube uh, yeah I mean um, it looks okay and the resin that they provided so that's double-sided resin that it provided to fix things uh, to the uh, spider veins it seems to be fairly robust because I'm really worried about those things falling down into the tube especially if I'm like you know looking at the zenith obviously they're super light and they're plastic so they're not gonna damage the uh, primary mirror but it will be really annoying to clean also, I hope they do not call bats because there are quite a few bats actually living in the area. So those uh, little uh, bat signs there, don't, don't, don't call the bats. And so hopefully those bats will not come poop on the telescope. That would be a bummer. And you obviously know what the next step will be. It will be to wait for a clear night. We might be able to see a few stars tonight. I mean, we see the sun. The sun is a star. There you go. Uh, no, do not point your telescope at the sun. Come on. <laughs> we'll find another star, star other than the sun, <laughs> to try this out and see how it looks like. I'm actually really excited to see if, it, if this is going to work because it looks kind of cool and ridiculous at the same time. It's the type of thing that I like. Okay, so I'll see you when we have a clear night, obviously, within this video. So hang on and subscribe and like the video and leave a comment and Patreon and join the channel. But let's get to the testing. Okay, I gotta tell you, miracles can happen because this is the same day. It wasn't supposed to be clear tonight, but it is. <laughs> so obviously I have pointed my frankenscope to a, a bright star, Algeba, and I've actually centered it in, in this telescope there. So the, the one with the, the bat signs will actually be slightly off center. Uh, I haven't taken the picture yet with the one uh, on the other side, so we'll discover together whether those Newtonian spikes uh, are going to disappear or not. So quickly, take your bets. Let me know in the comments if you think it's going to work or not. No cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is from this telescope here. We have Algeba well centered. Let's go to the instance of Nina that's connected to our bat scope. Bat scope, that's a good name. Uh, to our bat scope. And uh, well, for now, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to take a one second exposure and see what happens. Uh, the camera is connected. I have cooled it to minus 10 degrees. Uh, I haven't touched the focus. Uh, but I used it before the rain and the temperatures are similar so I think we should be fairly well in focus and here we are oh what well I'll be damned what <laughs> that's actually super cool wait it's working Come on, it cannot be working. Let me take like a 10 second exposures. Okay, it's very interesting. We get the diffraction spikes from the bat, from the bat signs themselves. The, the, the bat sign have those little like spikes in the middle and there they are. But it is true. The main diffraction spikes, they're not there at all. What is going on? Okay, and now is this worth it? Is this worth it? I'm not sure. I, I kind of like feel like if well, the, the not so bright stars like this one, this should be fairly representative. It almost looks like the, the old school uh, space trumpets from the uh, ASI 1600 cameras with their micro lensing effects. Uh, but like normal stars, they, 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 they look fine. Uh, this is very interesting. Well, you know, I'm going to keep them on for now and do if the weather allows an imaging night and we can have a look at the results once they're stacked with this very interesting thingy 
going on? I'm loving this. Are you loving this? I am. I sure am. Oh, this is so cool. It's actually working. It is. It really is. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, physics, guys. Physics. It's amazing. Seriously? I, I still still can't get over it. Okay, let me try to get more data, like a stack, see how it looks like, and let's have a look together. This is exciting, guys. Okay, and I have the result on a fairly like standard target that has a few stars around it, which is M63, which I've been imaging recently. And uh, if we zoom into the stars, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, the spikes are better, but they're still there to some extent. Not super visible, but still there. It gives a very interesting appearance to the stars. And I have to wonder, what if I had been using the original spider from the Skywatcher Newtonian as I was supposed to be doing? Maybe we wouldn't have those spikes. Uh, maybe it would be like perfect. But even then, if you had like extended uh, spikes that were bothering you, this is pretty cool, uh, but probably not something I'm going to keep using. But I'm still fascinated by the concept how it can get by adding something, you can remove something else. Find it very interesting. And if anyone knows how it works, please let me know down in the comments. So I, I because I want to understand how this works. And yeah, maybe with thinner spider veins, this would have been gone completely. And with my thicker spider veins, I would need a slightly thicker bat thingy uh, as well. Anyway, that is it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, like, subscribe, etc., etc. But more important than all of that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget one of you can to look up at the stars. And I'll see you next time.